Hello guys, welcome to Brain Mentors. I am Ravi and in this video I am going to tell you about how to download and install Hadoop in just 10 minutes. Let's get started. So these are the few steps that you have to remember while installing Hadoop. You need to install Java, download Hadoop and extract under C drive, set path in environment variable, config few files, create folder data node and name node. You have to edit HDFS and yarn, set Java home environment in Hadoop and setup is complete and then you can test by executing start all. So you have to make sure that Java is installed in your machine and if not, then you can visit the Java website and download JDK 1.8 from there. So scroll down and you will see this Java link here for your Windows or any other operating system you have. After downloading and installing Java, go to command prompt and check whether you have installed the uh, Java perfectly. If it is looking like this java-c version this is the output means java has been successfully installed in your machine now the main thing is about apache hadoop we have to talk about so go to this website hadoop.apache.org then download now from here you can pick any of the version like you want so i am clicking on 3.3.0 and then binary it will navigate to you this link and if you click on this link then it will start downloading the hadoop zip folder so I already have downloaded this zip. So it will be around 400 something MBs. And then there is one more link you can go through. On this link, you can download any version of Hadoop. The previous version of Hadoop is available on this website two, three, or any stable release you want. So here are the latest versions of Hadoop. All the links are available here. Now after downloading the zip folder of zip package of the Hadoop, you have to just go to the particular folder. Now you can either extract this particular uh, zip here or you can just copy this zip to C drive and then extract in C drive. It's up to you. So now you can just click on extract here. It will start extracting Hadoop here. It is going to take few seconds or might be one minute. So let's wait for it and after executing this particular command after extracting the Hadoop here in C drive, you will be able to see Hadoop 3.3.0 folder in your machine like this. Now, the next step is to set the path of Java and Hadoop till bin folder in your environment variable. So go to the properties of your system, advanced system settings, environment variable. Now here, click on new. Now you can name the variable as Hadoop home and paste the path till Hadoop bin. Click on OK. Then there is a path here. Click add it you can paste the path till bin here also so these are the two paths i have pasted here similarly we have to do the same thing for java copy the path of java till bin create new variable so let's go to java jdk and there is a bin folder inside this you have to copy the path till bin okay go back to the environment variables here again click on new and after clicking on new you will be able to set new variable for java home so Java home is the name of my variable and the value will be till bin. So let's write Java underscore home variable value is this. Now click on OK. Now there is again we have to set the path of Java bin here also. Click on OK. OK and again OK. OK. So the su successfully we have set the path of Java and Hadoop in environment variables. Next thing we have to add it few files. So there are few files xml files we have to edit to get started with the hadoop so there are core site and hdfs kind of files we have to edit let's right click and edit this file there will be a configuration tag and in this tag you have to paste a code i am going to share that particular code with all of you you just have to uh, paste the code like for you just have to follow my steps so this is the code that you have to paste in core site.xml so let's copy this code and paste it inside core site.xml here that's it save this file and now we have to go to another file and do the same thing but before that we have to make sure there is a file named as template. we have to rename it as site.xml. but if you are working with Hadoop 3 you do not have to do this thing because it already have mapred site as an XML file there is no template but if you are working on Hadoop 2 and all then you might have to do this thing okay so go to this XML file copy this property tag and paste it inside the configuration tag of mapred site. In this configuration tag, 
you have to paste this property. That's it. Save it. Now you have to create a folder data inside Hadoop and then we are going to create a data node and name node folder inside that folder. So let's create data folder here and let's go inside this data. We have to create data node and name node folder here. One is name node, another one is data node. All right. After creating these two folders in your data folder, let's get back to this XML file. We have HDFS site and we have to copy this code and paste it in HDFS site.xml. So basically it contains the path till your data node and name node. So we have to paste this code in Hadoop and the HDFS site.xml. Right click, edit and in the configuration, paste the code and make sure the value tag with this path, data node and name node. Make sure these paths are exactly the, you have created the data folder there. All right. Now we have successfully created these two things, data node and name node. Now there is one more setting we have to do inside the yarn site.xml. So there is one more file we have yarn, copy this and we have to paste this inside yarn site.xml. So let's right click on yarn and then go to edit. So we have to paste the configuration here. That's it. So these are the four configuration files we have to change. Now the next step is to set the Java home inside the Hadoop environment. To do this thing, there is a file Hadoop environment.cmd here. Right click, edit. There is a variable, so you'll scroll down, name as Java home. You have to set the path of your Java till here. Okay, so my Java is loca located inside C drive, then inside Java folder, JDK, copy this path. Till JDK, copy the path and replace this with this path. That's it. So we have to change this file like this. Finally, we have to download this configuration. If you are working on Hadoop 2, then this configuration is for you. But if you are on Hadoop 3, then you have to follow this link, Apache Hadoop 3 point something, WinUtils. So let's go to this URL and hit enter. It will open GitHub and you have to download this bin folder. So click on download zip. It will start downloading this bin folder. So we have to save this and we have to extract this folder so let's right click extract here in return. It will give you a folder and in this folder, you will see a bin folder. Just copy this folder and replace the Hadoop bin folder. So if you'll go to the Hadoop folder, there is also a bin folder. We have to replace this bin here with the copied one. All right. So we have copied a bin folder, pasted it here. That's it. So we are almost done. We just have to run a few commands. Now HDFS name node hyphen format is the first command. Copy this. And we have to execute this command inside the bin folder. Open command prompt here and write down HDFS name node hyphen format, hit enter and it will start formatting the name node. So it is just to make sure that there is nothing inside your name node by default. So we are formatting the name node. It is going to take few seconds and finally it will format your name node. Now finally, the last step is to, you can now just execute the uh, start all.cmd is the command to execute the Hadoop. So go to Hadoop sbin folder. All right. So you just have to go Hadoop sbin in this folder, open command prompt again, and then paste start all.cmd. So this is one choice, start all.cmd. You can also enter start dfs.cmd start yarn to start these two things separately. Start all.cmd is actually deprecated, but let's hit enter. So after hitting enter in start all.cmd, it will open four new command prompt, name node, data node, resource manager, and one more will be there that is node manager. So make sure these four command prompts are running in your machine after executing start all.cmd, name node, data node, resource manager, node manager. All right. So finally, after executing these things, you will see all the command prompts are running in front of us. Make sure these all are running continuously. Now go to the browser, type here localhost 8088 and finally you will see Hadoop uh, output like this. So it means we have successfully executed the Hadoop installation part. Hadoop is working in our machine successfully. There is one more URL you can try localhost 50070. But the problem is that this URL is actually deprecated now. Uh, this URL has been replaced. If you will try 50070, it won't work. 
if you will try localhost now 9000 it will uh, simply show you this output it, it looks like you are making some request and all so right now the latest port number we try is 9870 so you have to try 9870 so now finally this is the page where you will be able to see your files and the whatever working we have so that's it we just have to run all these steps i told you so finally we have learned how to download and install hadoop in just 10 minutes thanks for watching